Electrical resistivity tomography (ERT) or electrical resistivity imaging (ERI) is a geophysical technique for imaging subsurface structures from electrical resistivity measurements made at the surface or by electrodes in one or more boreholes. If the electrodes are suspended in the boreholes, deeper sections can be investigated. It is closely related to the medical imaging technique electrical impedance tomography (EIT) and mathematically is the same inverse problem. In contrast to medical EIT, however, ERT is essentially a direct current method. A related geophysical method, induced polarization or spectral induced polarization, measures the transient response and aims to determine the subsurface chargeability properties. Topic: History The technique evolved from techniques of electrical prospecting that predate digital computers, where layers or anomalies were sought rather than images. Early work on the mathematical problem in the 1930s assumed a layered medium see for example Langer, Slichter. Andrei Nikolaevich Tikhonov who is best known for his work on regularization of inverse problems also worked on this problem. He explains in detail how to solve the ERT problem in a simple case of two-layered medium. During the 1940s, he collaborated with geophysicists and without the aid of computers they discovered large deposits of copper. As a result, they were awarded a state prize of Soviet Union. When adequate computers became widely available the inverse problem of ERT could be solved numerically, and the work of Loke and Barker at Birmingham University was among the first such solution, and their approach is still widely used. With the advancement in the field of electrical resistivity tomography ERT from 1D to 2D and nowadays 3D, ERT has explored many fields. The applications of ERT include fault investigation, ground water table investigation, soil moisture content determination and many others. In industrial process imaging ERT can be used in a similar fashion to medical EIT, to image the distribution of conductivity in mixing vessels and pipes. In this context it is usually called electrical resistance tomography, emphasizing the quantity that is measured rather than imaged. See also Electrical capacitance volume tomography Magnetotellurics Seismoelectromagnetics Telluric current Vertical electrical sounding <laughs>